close your eyes and put aside all of the thoughts, all the things you've been doing this morning, all the things you plan for the rest of the day. Just let those go. And you'll find that other thoughts come up that may not have anything to do with it today at all. But let them go as well. You're going to go down and deeper and deeper into different layers of the mind. And the more quiet you are, the deeper you go. And some long buried things may suddenly come up. If it's a person that you know from the past, okay, wish them goodwill. And then let them go. If somebody you harmed in the past, wish them goodwill. Wish yourself goodwill, and then let them go. This is always the default mode whenever you think of anybody while you're meditating. That's goodwill is basically the may they be happy, may I be happy. And if you're really going to be happy, you have to work on your mind. And that gets you back into the meditation and gets you out of all those old narratives. Now, there will come a time sometimes when you have to go over the old narratives and look at them from a Dharma point of view. In terms of the karma, in terms of skillful and unskillful intentions. But while you're meditating right now, your first line of defense is to get the mind really still. And then try to keep it that way. Even as you leave the meditation and just chanting, get up, go back, have the meal. Try to stay with your breath all the time. Otherwise the day gets chopped up into little times. There's the time to meditate, then there's the time to chant, then there's the time to eat, then there's the time to clean up, and a little bit more time to meditate. And you lose momentum that way. If you see the whole day, even as you're working, even as you're dealing with other people, as part of the practice, then whatever sense of peace and stillness you've gotten while you're sitting here can gather momentum and can gather strength. Don't let it get it chopped up into pieces. Try to make it one large whole, an entirety of the whole day as a day to practice. And that way, as you dig down into the layers of the mind and the mind really gets stable, then you can start taking on some things from the past that may be eating away at the mind. And you learn to look at them from the perspective of the Dharma, and then you can put them away. It's not that we never think, it's just that you have to have a time and place for your thinking. Right now is the time to be really quiet, because the mind needs the quiet if it's going to think clearly, and if it's going to think effectively. So try to maintain this quiet as much as you can, because it's your foundation, even as you're going to be thinking about things. You want it to come out of this sense of quiet, where you're inhabiting the body and you're at peace in the body. That changes the balance of power inside in lots of ways.